I was just blown away by the, the unapologetic political ferocity of the show. Not a huge amount of American bands that, that have such a strong political content in their music. You're gonna die, gonna die, gonna die for your government, die for your country, that shit! I wanted to name the band Anti-Flag because every time corrupt politicians want to start a war, they pull out the flag. I'm sure all of them never thought they'd be doing this for a living. You've got Pat, who is personally really on the front lines of political activism. And then you have Chris, number one, who is the, the strong, silent type. And then number two is, of course, the, you know, the fiery, leapfrogging punk presence. And then Justin, who is the heart and soul of the band. It was the first time that I realized that someone from our town could make songs that people would care about. They're always on tour. They're, for 20 years, they've been on tour. It could go tragically wrong at any moment. The stress of going on tour every year comes more than most relationships can handle. And then you come home and they're like, no, a lot of shit has happened and you haven't been here for it. It turned into, we have reach and power. We should care about more. We should be grandiose. We have a message, listen to it. I want to write songs and talk to people who are interested in activism and politics and think that the world can be different than it is right now. If that's not your thing, go away. Get the fuck out. This is where I want to be. This is what I want to do. One, two, three!